Now we will talk about contiguous memory allocation. And we will talk about contiguous memory allocation uh, only to understand uh, the limitations of contiguous memory allocation. So what do we mean by contiguous memory allocation? By contiguous memory allocation, we mean uh, insisting that each program or each process has one contiguous block of memory that has uh, you know, all the code and the data that, uh, this, uh, that constitute that process. So that's what contiguous allocation means. And of course, you know, we will, uh, we will learn that this contiguous allocation is not efficient. It will not give the system enough flexibility, and we will understand that, in, in, you know, thoroughly. Uh, and that, you know, that's what will justify the schemes, the more advanced schemes that modern operating systems use, uh, which are segmentation and paging. So now our focus is on understanding uh, the limitations and disadvantages of contiguous memory allocation. Uh, so with contiguous memory allocation, each program has one block of memory. And that's defined by a base register and a limit register. And the memory management unit does the mapping. Uh, so So this, we have this uh, mapping scheme between logical addresses and physical addresses. So what gets generated by the CPU is a logical address. Uh, we compare the value, which is an offset, relative to the limit register. If it's less than the limit register, then it's valid. And we move to the next step. If not, then we trap to the operating system. The program is trying to access something uh, out of bound. And if this passes, we look at the relocation register, and we add that value to the value in the relocation register. Uh, okay. Now, since the value in the relocation register is set by the operating system, uh, we don't have to check again. So if the, if the offset is within the limit, that's all what we need to check. Because this value is guaranteed to be correct by the operating system. This is something that the operating system sets. So we just add that valid offset to the base that is guaranteed to be valid by the system. And that uh, by adding these two, we get the physical address of that uh, memory reference. Now, how does allocation happen? with contiguous memory allocation. So basically, the system will keep a list of allocated blocks and a list of free blocks. So there are two lists, list of allocated blocks and list of free blocks. Uh, for example, if we have, if the system is currently in this state, with this is allocated to the OS. This is process 5, process 8, process 2. And at some point, process 8 terminates. When process 8 terminates, memory that belongs to process 8 will get reclaimed by the system. So uh, that will be free memory that the system can use. And this will create what we call a hole. So this is the hole of free memory, a free memory block. Then when new, when new processes arrive, like process 9 and process 10, when they arrive, the system will look for memory blocks uh, to satisfy the needs of these processes from the, uh, the hole that became available. And uh, in general, there, there may be multiple holes. So, but how do we look for a free memory block if we have multiple blocks. So let's look into this example. Uh, let's say that we have memory looks like this. And we have, you know, this is reserved or used. 
this is a hole, with, let's say with uh, 40 units of memory. And then this is the reserved, and we have this with uh, 30 units of memory. And this is reserved, and we have, let's say, uh, 50 units of memory. And so these are the holes, free, this is free. These are free and these are reserved. And a process needs, uh, a process needs 20 units of memory. Now, how will, what are the different schemes for finding a block with 20 units for this process? So the, the simplest scheme is first fit. So we will find, you know, the, the first, uh, well, maybe, you know, we, we may have here a free memory block with, uh, say, 10. So 10 doesn't fit, right? So 10 doesn't fit 20. The first fit here is 40. Okay. So first fit will give us, will give 40. The other scheme is best fit. So which free block here is the best fit for 20? Yeah. yeah.